In the words of Dr. Maya Angelou, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. Hello, my name is Dr. Pauline Williams, Associate Professor of Bilingual Bicultural Education in the School of Teaching and Learning. I'm going to discuss my work as a teacher educator at Illinois State University. But first, to give you some context, my background as a racial, cultural, and linguistic minority who attended the Chicago Public Schools in economically disadvantaged areas has motivated me to devote my career to the education of children from similar contexts. As a teacher educator, I believe my work's greatest impact has been in helping teacher candidates understand issues related to race, culture, language, identity, equity, and diversity, and preparing them to meet the teaching demands of today's diverse classrooms. My research interest involves studies about culturally and linguistically diverse students and faculty of color and ISU's bilingual bicultural education program. I will discuss two areas of my work that focus on preparing teacher candidates for the multilingual multicultural classroom and bringing more teachers of color into the profession. I will then discuss my current research and future areas of interest. First, I have been involved in five initiatives to create pathways to teaching for people of color and provide monolingual English speaking teachers, provisionally licensed bilingual teachers and bilingual paraprofessionals with programs leading to bilingual and or ESL endorsements. I was the principal investigator and co director along with Dr. Elizabeth Skinner for the teaching of pre-service and in-service teachers in school district U46 or TPI U46, a program which produced a pipeline of bilingual teachers for the district's dual language schools through a federal grant of $1.7 million from the US Department of Education the Office of English Language Acquisition. The program exceeded its goals of educating more than 100 teachers and paraprofessionals to obtain bilingual and or ESL endorsements. Of this number, it also prepared 20 bilingual paraprofessionals to earn a bachelor's degree in education to become bilingual teachers. The picture in the background shows some of the students who are now bilingual teachers. Two important publications re resulted from this work. One will be published in 2022 in the Handbook of Research on Teachers of Color and Indigenous Teachers, published by the American Educational Researchers Association. The chapter's title is A District's Dual Needs, Bilingual Teachers Who Look Like Our Students. The other was an article entitled Friends with Benefits, Collaboration Between a State University and a School District Designed to Improve Teaching and Learning for Bilingual Students, which was published in 2018 in the Journal of Multicultural Education Research. And it has been downloaded over 180 times as school districts and universities across the country seek to learn about how to replicate our program. In both the chapter and the article, we write about the partnership between ISU and School District U46. In the latest publication, Dr. Skinner and I discuss the collaboration, planning, implementation, and results of the program as we focus on the linguistic, cultural, and intellectual assets of the paraprofessionals and the systemic educational and personal barriers that challenge them as they pursue their dream of becoming bilingual teachers. We also address how the program responded to these non-traditional students' needs by incorporating what Nell Nottings writes about as 
and ethic of caring. Our program was also acknowledged as a finalist for the Association of Teacher Educators, Billy G. Dixon Distinguished Program and Teacher Education Award. Another important approach that I've taken to prepare students for diversity is the course redesign work that I do through the National Center for Urban Education or NCUE. This work helps prepare future educators to teach in schools in under-resourced communities, often where a majority of children of color attend. Through NCUE funding, I take students to urban communities where they do participant observations in schools and spend time in community-based organizations and cultural institutions that work in partnership with ISU. The school in the background is Cooper Elementary School in the Pilsen community of Chicago. And I have taken my students to Cooper on many occasions to spend time in bilingual classrooms. Many students with preconceived notions about urban communities and the people who live in them walk away with a completely different attitude about urban education and working in high needs communities. Some seek further involvement in NCUE's urban initiatives, such as the Step Up Summer Internship and ISU's Professional Development School program in Chicago. An article that resulted from this work was Course Redesign, adding an urban education component to bilingual education coursework for the Syllabus Journal. In it, I explain the preparation and process that professors undergo to redesign their coursework, including an immersion and experience in an urban community. I included all of the course materials, such as the syllabus, assignments, rubrics, et cetera. I also discussed how my redesign classes inspire some of my teacher candidates to pursue working in these high needs communities. My current research, the exploration of how teachers address the unique linguistic resources and needs of simultaneous bilingual students in one way dual language programs explores translanguaging as a bridge to equity and identity. It will be submitted for publication in 2022. In the future, I am interested in sharing my work as a teacher and scholar through film to reach teachers, policymakers, and the public at large. One project that particularly interests me is creating a documentary on critical race theory which is a topic that is highly controversial in schools right now. I believe I could shed light on what it actually is and its purpose for an uninformed and misinformed public. Finally, and of utmost importance, I am blessed to have former students, now bilingual educators and administrators, come back to mentor my current students or welcome them into their classrooms to observe or assist. So I close with a few of my students turned mentors whom I proudly include in this presentation as being integral to the work that I do at ISU. I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. Thank you for watching.